Because when you learn about how your brain works, I'm going to take this whole, whole other way. If you learn how your brain works, your subconscious mind never goes to sleep. It only gives you what you think and say. You don't even have to say it. You just think it. Like when you meet someone and they always say they're tired, they're always going to be tired because your subconscious mind is going to seek tired for them. If you say, oh, I'm broke. Uh, someone says, I'm broke. I'm broke. They're always going to be financially struggling because your subconscious mind is sending you that. Now you say, what are you talking about, Rick? Oh, you're high on your hog. You got all this stuff. Blah, blah. No, I'm just like you. I'm like anyone else. In order to be successful and get where you want to go, you need to learn how you, your own personal thinking is because it affects your path in life. And what affects your, your, your path is your subconscious mind. So you learn how to talk to it. Yeah. So when I grew up, and probably to this day, I don't even hear it too much, but people used to say, don't fall asleep in front of the TV. I never really understood what that meant. Do you know what that means? Uh, no. I mean, I know you shouldn't do it. But, but the reasons why? Uh, well, because your mind is constantly going. and There you go. So you're just listening to this garbage, right? Yeah. So I thought, wait a second. If your mind doesn't sleep, and I suck at reading because I like drift off, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, dude, I'll listen to audiobooks while I sleep. That's what I did. I did it for years. Yeah. Until it start, things started to register. So I would get books on like things that like I talked about, like abandonment or or guilt or like or like uh, uh, you know uh, people pleasing and these things. And I would get literature on books that I liked. I studied like oh I might like this one, I like this one, whatever. And then I would listen to it. And I listened to a lot of Esther Hicks, a lot of Napoleon Hill. Yes. Uh, um, I listened to uh, this book, uh, No More Mister Nice Guy, which was awesome. It's just taught you to take care of yourself first and oh. don't feel bad about it. Holy shit, man. Because that what the thing is, is like in my life, and I'm not, I don't know if it's a society, but I think sometimes, you know, people try to make you feel bad for who you are because yeah. you have things. Mm -hmm. When really it's like, well, no, is it there could be a whole nother reason why you're tripping the way you are. And of so course. that guilt, the guilt will, will hold you back. Yeah. And so that that's what my one of my problems was. And so then I would listen to these books, dude. And then I would go to meet like people on the street, you know, like a relationship, meet a girl somewhere, not not totally unintentional, just like, oh, anywhere I go, I'll meet this girl. And then start talking. I would see something about it that like I normally wouldn't catch before yeah. that I would fall for because, you know, the way she looked or the way, you know, this or that or the other. And I'd be like, mm. and then I started to go, oh, this is starting to work. <laughs> I'm actually starting to actually have like set boundaries for myself yeah. that I didn't have before. So that was my big problem. It wasn't so much like, oh, uh, yeah, you're my wife, whatever, stay home, cook and clean, huh? yeah. I'm gonna go tour the world. It wasn't like that. Wow, the complete opposite. Yeah.